Hello everybody and welcome to Robot Wars Reborn. No funny intro this time, but a funny face. Look at how stupid my face looks in this picture. And in real life, in, in general. From Ash, Wild Thing. Basically a two-wheel drive go-kart, wedge-shaped with a three Mac and a giant 6,000 RPM, 12 kilo cutting disc, twice a series semi-finest, Wild Thing, we may love you. So first up is Wild Thing, the Series 5 Wild Thing that was more recognizable because it, you know, made a couple semi-final appearances. This was built by Thread of Length, if I'm remembering correctly. God damn, it looks pretty good. Beautiful fire decals in the front there, a beautifully shaped body. The weapon, it's a little small, I actually adjust it to go one size bigger, I don't know the uh, I don't know the dimensions, but this was the smallest of that disc and I made it one bigger than that, and in the back, there's some parts, and you can see the Shree mech looking freaking magnificent. The only thing that's gonna suck, and no fault to Thread of Length, it's just the design of Wild Thing, while the Shree mech protects the, uh, the disc a little bit, it's also incredibly vulnerable to all the heavyweight hammerbots it's going to face. So. It's gonna probably get damaged a lot, and I might get flipped, who knows. But we'll see how, I, how effective it actually is. I'm scared. Well, it's Sentinel. I already know what I gotta go do. And even when I'm behind him, and he knows I'm behind him, he still headbutts the wall. How dumb is he? God damn. Oh shit! Okay, thanks for making my job easier, eye poker. Whoa, whoa, why, why, why are you doing this to me? You're also missing a few brain cells. I will cut you. You what? A slice of cake. All the trap you can put it on the board. Yes. Oh, give it up, little metal friend. You're useless. You're not a good robot. You're fucking inanimate object. We heard a lot of animals on this show. I'm surprised PETA isn't after us. I poker smoking worse than a wildfire. Started by a wild thing. That one was a stretch. Come on, what do you got, Hanky Pinky? What do you got? What do you got? Not so wild anymore, are you, boy? How did you do that? Cocaine's a hell of a drug. So it's time to grade Wild Thing, and there was a lot of good stuff about him, especially in the appearance department. We can see from the picture right now, the flame decals were very well captured. The weapon, I think it did too much in the game. Um, a lot of parts taken off, whereas in real life it just kind of stopped when it hit a robot. Decently fun to fight with, a little bit slower than I think he usually was, and I dominated bots as opposed to getting dominated, and at least the fights I saw where he fought Chaos 2, Razor, Tornado. Also, he got 14 and 10 in real life, but in the game, 16 and 0. Oh, that's right, it's another Robot Wars robot that has gone unbeaten. Congratulations to Wild Thing. But he's not really a shit bot, he made a few semifinals, right? Or is he a shit bot? Let me know. From Costasy, Norwich, Norfolk, Thermidor 2. Very impressive in extreme so far with a powerful pneumatic flipper and the claws. Watch out though for that fragile shell. So next up is the lobster bot Thermidor 2, who was sent in to me by Doodle. But not this version of him. I rebuilt this one because this one's a little bit smaller. You want to see Doodles? Here's Doodles. It's huge. Yeah, oh, well, let me get out of my start menu there. Yeah, here's Doodles. It is a massive robot, so it wasn't proportionate to the other robots that we've had in this series, so I thought, okay, I'll just I'll just mimic his design, make it a little bit smaller, because look at this thing. It's massive. Couldn't do this. Now this, this is mu much better. Uh, this, is, this is good. Thank you, Doodle, though, for the idea of how to build Thermidor 2. I mean, it was very helpful, your uh, bot file, regardless of the fact I'm not using it. But yeah, so here's Thermidor 2, gave him some Z-Tech drive motors because that is needed in a lot of robots and I don't do it very often. So I gotta start doing that more often. 
battery life might be a little bit of an issue, but this was before component freedom when I built this thing, so maybe I could throw in another uh, Supervolt battery where the other one is, just have two overlapping. Those arms look uneven. Are those arms uneven? Is that just me? Something looks very, very wrong. Eh, whatever, let's go fight. No, oh, stop it! I know I'm a tasty looking lobster, but don't boil me! Oh shit! Yeah, he's coming right at me. Really? All of them? Impressive. Hey, is there room for one more in there? You guys want some lobster? So is that a firm no or? You're no tornado, you're more like a crappy gust of wind. Let's see how you like getting cooked! Okay, I'm a little scared. Help! Help! What do I do? We came, we saw, we kicked its ass! I used to fear fighting dementia. Now a win against him is more guaranteed than a dark-skinned person getting randomly selected for additional screening at an airport. Oh fuck, why did I hit him again? That would have been the greatest pin ever! You stupid son of a bitch, you just blew it! So it's time to grade Thermidor 2, and quite frankly, he was also pretty impressive. The appearance, I mean, did the best I could, but something felt wrong about it, I don't know what, it just looked janky. Weapon? Pretty decent, got some good flips, and his was decent in real life. Fighting style, gameplay, seemed pretty accurate, did very well to be on the offensive end, on most fights at least. Record accuracy, 15 and 9 in real life, and 18 and 0 in recording. God damn it, we have another unbeaten robot. Like, I'd say congratulations, but he's the 11th one, and quite frankly, this is getting annoying. Congratulations, Thermidor, blah blah blah. Do you have a favorite Robot Wars robot that you want to be part of this series? Leave a comment of the robot's name below. Your mother was a whore. Excuse me, do you want to still be alive after tonight? Jeez, that's a vinyl alarm clock. Okay, here goes nothing with a very terrible joke. What did Titanic say to the iceberg? <laughs>